What is up everybody? It's Wick here. I decided to start a vlog. I got two boxes going out to FBA this morning. I actually have about four more I need to get out uh, upstairs, but I had to... I couldn't finish them because I didn't have a box big enough for one of the shipments. I didn't want to combine it into two boxes, smaller boxes, because that's just more money. So I'll just pick up some boxes when I'm out at Walmart this morning. And I wanted a smaller box to get at Walmart because I'm going to ship one larger thing by itself going out. It's a bath fan. should fit into one of the uh, medium boxes, Walmart medium boxes, almost perfectly, I believe. And uh, just ship that out by itself. It should only cost maybe five bucks, but I, I should make about $40 on that bath fan, so I guess it's worth it. Uh, just to get some of this big stuff out of here. And of course, I got eBay stuff over here. I got a Goodwill bag full of packages and a larger package here. Sold three thermostats, baseboard thermostats. I got at Lowe's not long ago during the big clearance event they were having. Uh, they sell for $6 and something on Amazon. I sold mine for $35 a piece. Somebody actually bought three of them uh, earlier this week. And then this person bought four. Unfortunately, my inventory was off. I only had three of them. So I had to refund him one, and uh, he agreed to just buy the other three. So uh, pretty good profits there, especially when I can ship them all out in one box. That saves me on shipping. Um, so pretty good profits. But I'm going to go uh, drop this stuff off and hit a couple of Goodwills, Salvation Army, and uh, see if there's any clearance in this Walmart. So here I am in Goodwill. Looking at the toys and spot this big bag of Legos. They want $99.99 for it. Uh, it's a bit too much. Uh, it didn't look like anything special. I did find some stuff. Uh, I'll show you that in a bit. But uh, yeah, just looking around, trying to find something. Here is a new cart that recently come out. I love looking at new carts because that's when you're going to find the stuff that's untouched. That kayak hoist there I looked up. Uh, it was like $10 at Goodwill, but um, it was like 15 or something on Amazon. just wasn't worth picking up used. Uh, just some random junk on here. There's like a baseball thing sealed. Uh, it looks pretty generic, so I didn't even bother with it. Uh, someone in the comments will probably tell me it was worth a fortune. Um, this Goodwill has lots of good furniture. They price it really low because they don't have a lot of space to store it bunch of golf clubs it's just something i never took the time to learn about if i see like a unique looking golf club i'll look it up but it's something i've been meaning to you know, put more time into uh typical if you want a madden game goodwill's the place to go uh, always plenty of maddens uh, no other good video games i haven't been going through books thoroughly because um, I know there's a lot of book scanners around here, and I usually just put my time elsewhere, but I do kind of eye scan the books just to see if there's any unique books I can look up. Uh, here's a finishing basement VHS. Uh, nothing special there. That was sealed. And yeah, just looking through the toys, hoping to find a sealed game. And I just see a lot of the same old junk. There's a Blockus. Uh, if you see Blockus Trigun, it's a pretty good game. I used to sell Blockus Trigun for like $80 at one point because you couldn't get them new anywhere. Amazon was out and there was just a shortage of them. And I was selling them used uh, for like $40, $50 and new was just uh, over 100 And I was selling a lot of used ones. But here's just the electronics section in this Goodwill is just really bad. So I'm done with the sourcing part of my day. I have some things to do later, so it wasn't a big day, but I did decide to stop at Walgreens. You can't really tell it's Walgreens, but it is. And uh, I usually don't go to Walgreens because I've been, I'd say, about 12 times in my life, and I had just never found anything. And today, I found my first Walgreens purchase. Uh, some hair volume. This stuff was 50 some dollars for these tablets, and uh, they're marked down to 13 it uh, looks like they're selling pretty well on eBay for about $39, 40 bucks. So, uh, you know, I should make a $20 bill pretty easily on those. I probably won't ship them to Amazon because, uh, you know, it's just uh, a little suspicious with these brands I don't know a lot about. So I'd rather just sell it on eBay. I'm getting about the same money anyway. In Goodwill, I picked up this Cranium Kadu 10 sealed. Uh, it was $2.99, so I thought it was worth a lot more than what it is. 
Uh, I'm probably going to make about $15 in the end. Uh, maybe a bit more since Christmas is around the corner. But a uh, good pickup nonetheless. I picked up this Thermosel Steel Seal. I paid 5 bucks for it, but I sold about 20 of these earlier this year. I got at Home Depot last year. I believe I paid about $6 a piece at Home Depot for them. So at $5, I should be able to make about $8 in the end. It's, you know, not great money, but I already have a listing out for these. Or not out, it's done, but I should be able to just relist it. There's a little tear there. I'm probably going to have to disclose that. Uh, either way, they, they sold really well. Uh, so I I should make, I'm pretty sure it was $8 profit on those. Picked up these ballast and goodwill they appear to be new uh ballast do well uh, i seen it once one of these sold on ebay for about 26 bucks uh, i'll probably lock these two together charge maybe uh 49.99 uh, i've sold ballast before and they do really well so for four dollars a piece should be some pretty okay profits and uh a lot of this stuff is from the other day uh it's in my vlog watch the vlog before this if you want to see what all this stuff on the ground is and this life tone i just haven't taken it out of the car yet but i did find more of these honeywell filters at walmart when i was in there uh four of them i'll make ten dollars a piece on those so a uh, quick forty dollars there they had a really good rank so they'll sell really quick unless amazon comes in and lowers the price or something before i get mine in then I uh, probably won't make much of them because they were four fifty a piece and they sell for about twenty right now. Actually, now that I think about it, Amazon was already in at twenty, and there was uh, third party sellers already lowering the price. There wasn't a lot of FBA sellers though, so I shouldn't have much competition. It's like three thousand rank at Home Improvement. It should move really quick. And uh, I got this VCR Salvation Army. No remote, and I'm trying not to buy. I'm really picky on the electronics I buy right now because I literally have about 50 of these things I haven't dealt with yet. But for $2.99, this is ranked number one bestseller on Amazon. I've sold this model before with the remote for $89.99, probably about six of them in my lifetime. So they're pretty easy to find remotes for. So uh, if I don't already have a remote, I'll find one and I'll be able to sell this on Amazon for $89.99. No problem. They sell pretty much instantly at that price with the remote. So uh, definitely could not leave that sit there. But that's it for the haul for today. I'm going to probably continue this vlog uh, on another day when I do some light thrifting. So let's jump to that. So it is the next morning and I have the rest of my FBA shipment ready. It's a heavy one. Uh, the UPS girl is not going to be happy to see me two days in a row. But uh, two, uh, three 48-pound boxes in a 35 pound box uh i was so tired yesterday evening and I, I have to get this shipment done so i can start another one because it's just that time of year so i went ahead and just paid amazon to uh process the items usually you have to report what's in each box uh pretty much have to have a perfect quantity and i already had this stuff packed i couldn't remember which item was which and i'm like i don't want to do this so I just went ahead as a hundred items even. So it cost me 10 bucks to have Amazon do all that for me. I'm like, yeah, if you have basically an employee to do it, why am I going to spend another hour doing this? <laughs> so I just went ahead and uh, paid that, finished the shipment and relaxed the rest of the night. So uh, definitely flexible when you can have Amazon employees to do the work for you. And I could have done it and saved 10 bucks. Uh, I could have UPS pick up these boxes I have to take them it would cost I think at least ten dollars uh, there's just different options but I, I tend to like to save money I do these so often if I was paying that much every time I'd be paying probably well over a thousand or more every year uh, so I just try to save money where I can I try to reuse boxes where I can like this Lowe's box here I just happened to see that when I was in a Lowe's and I asked them are you throwing that box out they said yeah I said can I have it <laughs> So these things cost about a dollar fifty, dollar eighty, something like that. So why not just uh, pick them up when you can? Uh, I used to try to source all my boxes, but it just became too much time, too much effort. It's just easier to pay the money. But I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna stop at Home Depot, see if I can find any clearance, and then um, we're gonna hit Goodwill and Salvation Army. 
Here I am at a Goodwill and I spotted a new cart coming out. So I rush over to take a look, see if I could find any good deals on it. Uh, not seeing a whole lot, just some junk and uh, looking at the toys, see if there's anything new popped up. Not seeing a whole lot. Uh, there's a big My Little Pony. I know some toys like that can be worth picking up, but not usually. There's some doll clothing. I don't know anything about doll clothing. It was $30 for the bag. I know some of the vintage does well. Let me know uh, if you guys know anything about doll clothing. Does anyone else feel really good after they drop off an FBA shipment? It just feels like, ah, completed something. Going to make money from it. Uh, but I have to go start another one because it's that time of year. So uh, the grind's continuous. Two Goodwills, Salvation Army, and Home Depot. And I found absolutely nothing. It's just the way it goes sometimes. Okay, everybody, it is now the next day. And hopefully I can get enough footage today to finish off this vlog. Uh, it's been kind of jumbled the last couple days. I'm not sure how much footage I actually got. But I just want to make sure there's enough content to make a video so people just aren't watching it. And then they're in there like, why did I waste my time? Which... I assume most of you probably ask yourself that at the end of all my videos, but I appreciate you coming back and wasting your time. I'm actually going to go to a Salvation Army about an hour away. It's closing. Um, apparently everything's supposed to be discounted. Who knows what they have left, if anything. Probably not much, but I wanted to go in there one last time. It sucks to see it close, uh, but I don't go to it too often because it's so far away, but I'll go check it out today. And my furnace is on. It's so loud. I apologize for that. I know that's coming up in the video. It's cold morning. It's about 32 degrees. Uh, but I'm also going to hit the thrift stores around there and hopefully find some goods. I'm going to go to the local ones first. And then there's one garage sale that's going to be starting. So I'm going to stop at that. Hopefully score some stuff. So uh, let's go. Here we are at the garage sale. It's cold out. There's no one else here that I've seen, I don't think, so probably pretty good pickings for me. Um, garage sale didn't have a lot of stuff. I see the golf bag there. I should have looked that up more. Uh, some golf clubs, like I said, I just don't, I usually just look over those, but this is Kelly, like, bags that are brand new, and I should have asked the price on these. I did look them up, and they weren't the greatest seller some of the kelly bags were amazing they're like military bags or something but these just weren't very good ones so i ended up not even asking the price uh just old computer stuff you see at every garage sale um some of the mice and keyboards can be worth good money the old ones so make sure you uh, kind of check those out and the rest is kind of housewares uh, there's some more golf stuff i definitely should have should be paying more attention to that stuff but it was a good garage sale, just not really a whole lot there for me. I did end up picking up one thing, which I'll show you at the end of this video. Here I am at the Salvation Army closing. You can see it's almost completely empty. Everything's 75% off. Uh, the clothing remaining is pretty trashy. There's the rest of the, like, the harder goods available, and I went through them, scanned pretty much every book. And got a couple things in the end, but it's just sad to see Salvation Army closed, a uh, sourcing spot, even though I didn't come here a whole lot. Just sad to see it happen. Okay, I am back home and up in my workroom. Got this table full of FBA stuff. Currently getting ready, so ignore that mess. Let me show you what I got when I was out this morning. Uh, here you see this Home Medics. It's a massager for your back. Um, I actually found one of these a year or so ago in Goodwill, brand new for 20 bucks. Uh, looks like they sell for about 100 uh, I ended up selling it to a friend that was looking for one. Uh, I think I just sold it to him for what I paid for it. And then I ended up trying it out, and I, was, I instantly regretted selling it to him. I'm like, man, I kind of, it was nice. It felt really good. I was surprised. Um, that one may have had heat or something. I don't really remember exactly. Pretty sure it was the same one. But at that garage sale, it was $5. I asked her if it worked, and she said, yeah. So uh, I went ahead and purchased it. Probably just going to use it for myself. Just put it on my computer chair in the other room when I'm doing work and have that thing on. And should feel pretty good. Um, 
I knew eventually I'd come across one of these again. I see, I've seen them a lot. It's just that you don't usually see the the really good ones. So here's what I got at Salvation Army, and what was it three Goodwills I ended up going to, I believe. Um, it's not bad, really. Uh, this Lost was su really surprising. Season six DVD set sealed. Can't sell it on uh, Amazon, but on eBay, uh, forty to fifty dollars are what the comps are looking like. I paid two ninety nine for that, so that's great. This part cheesy, or uh, part cheesy? I don't know how you're supposed to say that. I I, I always said part cheesy, <laughs> but this is brand new, sealed, two ninety nine. I believe I've sold this before in the past, maybe the same uh, model of this game, but uh, right now I'll get fifty dollars for it, no problem. But I'll probably get more since it's so close to Christmas. And uh, that same Goodwill, they had a... My floor is squeaky. They had two T, TI-85 calculators. Uh, one of them had a name scratched in it, so I left that one. It's actually a dollar cheaper. This one is in pretty much mint condition, or I wouldn't have bought it. I'm only going to get about 20 bucks for that max. Uh, so I should make $10 in the end, so I just went ahead and picked it up. They'll still sell. But of course, this thing... It's a pretty good find. Unfortunately, it has a couple black spots there, and the back's been taped up. I can get that name off there. But even, uh, it's a TI Plus Silver Edition. You know, if this had the case and was in decent condition, I could probably get, you know, 60 to $70, I believe is what I've sold them for in the past. Uh, this one, I think I could sell it for $30 still, no problem. As long as it works and doesn't look terrible, if it doesn't work i can return it for my four dollars back probably sell it for parts and still make money so my last time in that salvation army location i ended up picking up this book uh i like a two million rank and i'm gonna make like eight or nine dollars only reason i bought it is because it was so cheap uh, i don't even know what it ended up being but my total purchase was only 40 cents for these two items here the pioneer photo albums refill not even sure what that's for, but it sells for like $8, and like I said, I'm going to make like $3 on that, and like $9 on this. I paid $0.40 cents for both of those. Uh, everything in the store was 75% off, and I don't know what they were priced originally. And then at Goodwill, I got this for $2. Had like a 300000 rank in music, but no FBA sellers, so I could probably price this at $20. Hopefully get a sale and make a little bit of money. So uh, that's going to do it for this vlog, which I think is about th three days worth of vlog now. Um, but that's just part of the grind. I can't score like, you know, $800, $1,000 re retail arbitrage scores every day. You just keep grinding. And then when you hit those big scores, it just feels great. But like this stuff right here, I mean, it's going to be over 100 bucks, like easily 150 uh, depending on what I get for the calculator. Uh, about yeah about 150 dollars i think maybe about 170 uh so it's definitely worth you know just grinding out these small items you see i got a lot of small items over here i'm just grinding out nothing well there's a few home runs in there like the life tone i got the estate sale over there the other day you know i'll make about 150 bucks but uh there's just a lot of it's just grinding and still make about two grand off of all this when it sells so uh you just can't expect to hit home runs all the time. You just get those those winners in there and make that money. That's going to do it. I want to thank everybody for watching. Make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe. Follow me, flipping underscore junk on Instagram, Twitter. This has been Wick. Till next time.